Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The Kamakh province of Yerzenka in Western Armenia tends to become a tourist destination. A new facts to make it clear what we have lost. George Tabakian, the genocide of Armenia's museum institute, is conducting a program for American teachers. At the 50th session of the UN Human Rights Council, Armenia distributed an application on the Artsakh issue as an official document. In Western Armenia, treasure hunters damaged the historical structure popular known as Maher Dor. In a Shirnak province of Western Armenia, 6,000-year-old walls were covered with basalt stones. Next to ancient manuscripts, modern art is presented, exclusive exhibition in Matina Daran. Kamakh province of the Yerzenka province of Western Armenia tends to become one of the most important tourist centers with its historical buildings and natural beauty. From the period of Ararat Kingdom to the present day, a number of historical and cultural buildings have been preserved here. The history of Kamakh, the cradle of many civilizations, is very ancient. There are also rock churches on the territory, which somewhat resemble the ruins of Anid. There are many facts that prove the nativeness of Armenians in this region. The Armenians lived here, creating and shaping their culture, using nature monuments, caves and rocks. Cartographer George Tabakian wrote on his Facebook page, I am working on a new line of contact for Artsakh and will probably publish it when it's finally ready. Then the cartographer presented information indicating the loss of Armenian territories. According to him, the territory controlled by Armenian troops was about 11,500 km and the line contact with Azerbaijan was about 245 km. As a result of the territory controlled by the Russian Armenian troops has become an area of about 2,800 square kilometers and a contact line is about 440 kilometers. That is, the territory has increased about four times and the contact line has expanded by 200 kilometers. During the war, the Armenian side lost about 25% of the land and 75% surrendered after the war, according to the ceasefire agreement. The American organization Genocide Education Project, in cooperation with the Museum Institute, built in memory of victims of genocide of Armenians on July 9th to 17th, 2022, organizes a training program for American teachers. The course takes place in a museum's conference hall in the lecture lesson format. A separate lesson on the Artsakh issue has been highlighted. The program includes a special culture part that will contribute to the general knowledge of the history of Armenians. This year, 15 teachers from 15 different U.S. states will take part in a program. Most of them have 20 and more years of experience, the report says. Western Armenia attaches great importance to the holding of such courses as it contributes to the voicing of crimes against Armenians. We want to remind you that the U.S. President Joe Biden recognized the genocide committed by Turkey, condemning it. But Western Armenia is still waiting for more serious action so that Armenians in these territories restore their rights to nativeness and liberate the lands from Turkish occupation. The 50th session of the UN Human Rights Council was held in Geneva from June 13th to July 8th, 2022. Interactive dialogues and discussions during the session were focused on key issues on a council's agenda, such as the rights of women and girls, the rights of internally displaced people and migrants, etc. The Armenian delegation made 35 speeches during the session. It was stressed that Armenia, as a member of Human Rights Council, continues to contribute to the prevention of genocide and other mass crimes by strengthening national and international mechanisms. The gross violation of human rights and international humanitarian law by Azerbaijan in Artsakh and the border areas of Armenia and war crimes were discussed in details. Armenia also distributed four applications as an official document of Human Rights Council, which mainly related to Artsakh problem. In the Sarai promise of Western Armenia treasure hunters in the hope of finding gold destroy the sacred rock, they try to break through the Rartian door with a height of 5 meters. This magnificent building, dating back to the period of Ararat Kingdom, popularly known as the Maher Door, is of great importance to the Armenian people, both in terms of race and in historical terms. The holy place called the Door of Maher and the reservoirs located on the adjacent territories have come down to us from the Rartian period and are hidden in a vast fortress, but the historical values located there have not yet been fully discovered. The historical walls of Bir Jabalek in a province at Gizre, in a city of Shirnak in Western Armenia, was covered with basalt stones. Restoration works of the walls and adjacent churches under the name Environmental Improvement began last year by the main Directorate of Culture, Heritage and Museums of the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. It should be noted that the fortress and the walls of Gizre are among the most important historical values of the province. The castle on the banks of Tigris River has been rebuilt several times in the course of its history. Western Armenia draws the attention of international community to this case, pointing out the conditions under which the monuments of territories under occupation are protected. 
The Master of Mastod Matsna Daran will host the exhibition of famous artist called Chairman of Pogosian Foundation, Jem Pogosian Dialect, created by the famous Italian art critic Bruno Cora. The exhibition is unique in that for the first time in the Matsna Daran modern art is presented next to old manuscripts that is again based on a book, thanks to which it was possible to create a bridge that united the works of a modern artist with medieval manuscript. Now musical part Armenian folk song. Ela khop nots khot tapi ar divari en baralik nab kes mi khantorov khapi yesem sirelotineri lav eden tsevorasomes ar divari en baralik iz balboli pes khosomes yesem sirelotineri filiz the full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.